Hello, a radio singing come on. Yes, Rena, one way to you now, moon trimmer, a name. Now, yes, she sent a name, Hanyama, and Sanantino. Yeah, you will peel a niche in your name. Yeah, I'm right name. Both right side and left side. Yes, Rena, yes, Rena, I'm right name. My.
will rise and sing Pentagon Hymn number one, the first three stanzas. merciful Father. We bless and praise your name this morning for giving us life, tranquility, the peace that comes from you for your children to gather here in your presence. We give glory to you for the many known and unknown who by their lives, deeds, and works have given witness to your transforming grace. What no eye has seen, no ear heard, nor the heart of people conceived, you have revealed to us in your word. You have called us as Presbyterian Church of Ghana, and in particular, a Kuyapim Presbytery, also to preach your word to those afar off who have not yet heard of the salvation prepared for people in Jesus Christ, your son. As we gather this morning to begin our program, continue in celebration of our centenary, we plead your presence to be with us, O oh Lord, so that we will finish by giving you glory and please when we finish give us your peace we praise you O Lord great God of love and mercy we raise our voices loud to proclaim your glory you only are worthy to be adored and worshipped mercifully accept our praises through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much, 
Reverend Dr. Kufianfu Akono. Beloved in the Lord, I proceed to introduce guests and dignitaries here for this morning's event. We have, as a person presiding over this special event, the Preparatory Chairperson of the Equiapim Preparatory, the Reverend I.D. Esari. I introduce him to you, sir. Also with us this morning is the Preparatory Lay Rep to the General Assembly Gratitude, the district minister for Kukuribia, who is graciously hosting us, Reverend Dr. Kupi Amfua Kono. We also have with us Reverend Daniel Usu and San Chair of the Anniversary Planning Committee here with us this morning. We have some guests, high profile guests that we have to acknowledge. We have with us Mr. Samuel Donko, the Chief Director of the Regional Coordinating Council, Eastern Region who is here with us this morning. And he's accompanied by Mr. Elvis Ufuri, the regional protocol officer. Say, so you are welcome. We also have with us this morning the following guests. We have Abdullahi Admo Seidu, representing the regional chief imam this morning. Say, so you are welcome. We have with us Mr. Augustine Busruchi, the Deputy Regional Director of the National Commission for Civic Education with us this morning. We have in our midst DCOP E. Chum Messi Accra, the Deputy Regional Commander of the Ghana Police Service with us this morning. We also acknowledge Mrs. Gladys Ochri Otu, Headmistress of the Presbyterian, High, Presbyterian Senior High Technical School, Latte. We wish to acknowledge Mrs. Emily Adu Ochre, the Chief State Attorney of the Eastern Region, here with us this morning. We have Mr. Mark Ufuri Frimpon, Headmaster of New Jabin Senior High School, Kufuridwia. We have Madam A.C. Augusta, Senior representing the Immigration Service of the region. And we also have Mr. R. Jean Edumante, the former lay rep to the General Assembly Council for the Prebutary and his wife with us this morning. As we move on, other guests will be acknowledged as and when they come. I now have the pleasure to invite to the podium the Prebutary Chairperson, Reverend I.D. Esari, to give us the welcome address and purpose of gathering this morning. Let's welcome Reverend Asari. Thank you very much, Papa Clark of Presbytery also the MC for this event. The lay rep to General Assembly Council, the district minister who is also the national president for um, the Minister's Conference of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, Reverend Dr. Kofi Amfo Akondo, also colleague ministers, the Chief Regional Chief Imam Rep, the Regional Director, also representing the Regional Minister, heads of institutions, ladies and gentlemen, all protocol duly observe. It is a great pleasure that we have met here this morning. Now, our purpose of gathering 
is very obvious. The Equipment Presbytery is 100 years old. And as such, we have these activities which we are celebrating to give glory to God. Hallelujah. Equipment Presbytery. The first five presbyteries that were established by the then synod of the Presbyterian Church of the Gold Coast then have come far. There are a lot of things that the good Lord through the church and for that matter Kuapen Presbytery are done for us as a nation and as a church. There are numerous things that we can put our hands on and say that indeed the Lord has been with us. Apart from the propagation of the gospel, we have our institutions, especially the educational institutions. We have our uh, clinics and hospitals and so many other things that the Lord has done for us. We are celebrating this hundred years, as I've said, to the glory of God. If we don't say it, God in his own wisdom, as the scriptures say, can call even the stones and stakes to praise him. As a church, we need to propagate the gospel and we need to say what the Lord has done for humanity. Equipment Presbytery currently, we have 25 districts which runs through about nine political districts and metropolitan and municipal assemblies. We have schools, as I've said already. We have personnel that are handling our schools and what have you. Our purpose for gathering here today is as we celebrate, we want the entire nation to know what the church has done. And so we have chosen a topic which one of us, one of us, I'm saying one of us because the one to give us the lecture, he will be introduced. But for maybe, let me say, selfish interest, I want to say that he is a son of this presbytery, a renowned speaker, a theologian, a, I don't know if you want to say, in fact, he has been a bishop of Ghana before working at the Christian Council as a general secretary. And oh, what I'm interested in is that he's the son of this presbytery who is going to talk about the topic for us, which is the church as an agent for consolidating democracy, economic transformation, and social equity in Ghana, our prospect and challenges. I don't want to explain this because looking at it, uh, the whole topic is bigger than me. And so, ladies and gentlemen, not to bore you with so many things, as a presbytery, we have so many things ahead of us which we want you also to know. We continue to propagate the gospel and that calls for resources and some needs which we need to put in place. Congregations that we establish need places of worship. We need to establish a senior high school in this regional capital, Koforidia, which is ahead of us and so many other things. 
ladies and gentlemen, with this, and on behalf of the Kuapen Presbytery, I wish to welcome all of you to today's public lecture. And on my own behalf, I want to say a big aquaba to all of you. You are all welcome. Feel at home and feel free to be part of this public lecture and all the other things that accompany it. The Lord bless you as we move on and as you sit in to participate in this public lecture. I thank you so much and God richly bless you. Amen. I think we can give a bigger round of applause and appreciation to the chairperson. Thank you very much, Reverend Chairperson. Reverend Chairperson, we also wish to acknowledge that we have our district ministers for the various districts in the Prebytry here. Please, district ministers, kindly wave and let us acknowledge your presence. Then and a number of other ministers and agents also in the Prebytry. Please also wave and let us acknowledge your presence. Thank you so much. We have with us also Mr. Emmanuel D. Edison, representing the New Job and South Municipal Director of Education. Papa Chairperson, the Ahmadiyya Muslim Mission sent an apology that they can't be with us because of another equally important engagement to well acknowledge. We now invite the Ascension Youth Choir to give us a musical interlude. Ascension Youth Choir.
Thank you very much, Ascension Youth Choir. Please, let's give them another big round of applause. Thank you very much. Deputy Chairperson, say, ladies and gentlemen, as you've heard, we are here for a public lecture on the topic, the church as an agent for consolidating democracy, economic transformation, and social equity in Ghana, prospects and challenges. I have the singular honor to briefly introduce the guest speaker for today. The guest speaker is a minister of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana since 1991. He holds a Doctor of Philosophy degree in African Christianity. He has former Presbytery Youth Coordinator in the then Equiapim Water Presbytery headquarters at Ekrupon Equiapim. He went on to serve as the General Youth Secretary of the Church at the National Head Office in Accra. He also one time served as the National Secretary of the National Ministers' Conference of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana. He is a former chairperson of the Asante Presbytery of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, a presbytery that is also celebrating 100 years this year. He is a lecturer and a former head of department at the Department of Religious Studies at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi. He is also an adjunct lecturer at the Trinity Theological Seminary, Legon, and the Pentecost University, Accra. He is a former visiting scholar at the Stellenbosch University, South Africa. He is a former general secretary of the Christian Council of Ghana, and currently the chief executive officer of the Alliance for Christian Advocacy, Africa. As a minister of the gospel, he has considerable experience in pastoral and ministerial work, higher education, international media relations, interfaith and communal relations, advocacy, outreach services delivery, and many more. He also has vast experience in management, administration, leadership, peace, conflict management, religion, Christian theology, public speaking, university teaching and research management, as well as boardroom experience. We are proud to say that he is a proud son of the privately coming from Sushen in the New Jaben area. We have with us this morning to deliver this lecture, the Reverend Dr. Kwabena Upuni Frimpong. With a round of applause, let's welcome Reverend Dr. Upuni Frimpong to the podium, sir. Papa, Papa Chairman, and let me also acknowledge Nananum and Mr. Robert Edumante, a former Executive Committee member of the Christian Council of Ghana. I come to you this morning in humility as I accept to deliver the lecture. I'm excited to be here for so many reasons, among others, what the chairperson said, I'm a proud son of this presbytery. By my ministry also started, as mentioned, 1991 at a in this presbytery. And I had the opportunity to serve as the last youth coordinator of the then Equapim Volta Presbytery. And I'm happy that today my eyes are seeing the wondrous things of God to be part of this centenary anniversary. Papa, I'm so grateful for the invitation. For some good reason, I may explain some aspect of the lecture in the Akan language for some people who may have language challenges. At least I have seen Peace FM people here for the sake of Peace FM, I may say a few things in Chi for that special group of people. The subject for us as we celebrate a uh, hundred years, among other things, one is the church 
as an agent for consolidating democracy, economic transformation, and social equity in Ghana prospects and challenges. As no jume die asu die se ye pese kebi mami kebi tin tin wo ome yimu na ye nsa nko ye chi nko nshe so e mua asafunu jume die e wo ni pabla bo mu nko so e nsa sa de nko so ba ni pa abla bo mu asafunu jume die e wo Omanya yenye edidija ne bi wo sro sro na ebi wo fam ase na obi nfa obi ho a asafo no dwuma de ene sen na mpo nyina so ba na asafo no wo a odi di sa dwuma die ya e wo kebi ma men kebi ene ni pabra bo mu nko ene mu nko so nkanyan ene abusia oman a Yen yen si si e mebi hon tomo e bi mwa ye ye pa ne bi mwa ye hiya fo e bi koskwa ke si e bi nye bi nko diye na asafunu jina so e di ye sa e jumano asafunu jina so na huwa den e hene wo na sa asafunu mpo e wo jina so ne a huwa den ya e diye na e ye a kwe si diye se asafunu di sa e jume diye ya e wo ke bi mami nke bi ya E jina ho e nyini na ensa ne chi. Abra bo mun kwe ni mun kwa so. No maya e didi e nya e bini mwa. Akwa sidiye no ene dem. This is what I'll be doing in terms of outline. I want to touch on the issues and I'll touch on Christian public theology. Christian public witness in Ghana. And then the United Nations has come out with what is called Sustainable Development Goals. I'll touch on the uh, Sustainable Development Goals in Ghana. What I consider to be challenges of sustainable development, uh, democracy, economic transformation, and social inequalities. Now here I may pull some examples from the Africa continent because of some studies and work that we are doing currently and then we touch on the prospect challenges and i may make some proposal as conclusion steps and strategies as we move into the future now the issues why is this subject so so important if there's one thing that at the moment ghana we don't beg we don't go to IMF, we don't go to World Bank, we don't ask any nation to help us. It's a matter of religion, it's Christianity. We have more churches, we have more pastors, we have more church buildings. We have huge Christian numbers. Now the question is, how does that translate into national transformation? How can the huge numbers in our churches have impact in our national Life. Christosum e buye nsre hwe wo bi ho. Nan kede ne be buye nse Christosum a ya no pe wye nyumre radio su TV yi. E be buye a se. A fe, a sori nyo nyini no. E di nyini bi nso. E be ba ome yi yabra boom si kasemu en Kenya yi. How do we help members in our churches to identify their roles? We don't only need good Christians but we also need active citizens. So, what is the role of the church in making sure ordinary people who are sitting in our pews are not becoming born again, well, you know, educated Christian discipleship, but they can go out into the market, in the law court, in other sectors, and equally be uh, uh, good citizens. What is uh, the good roles that church members can go out there. Uh, how should church members bring their faith and spirituality into matters of governance, into public life? That there's not a disconnection between the cathedral and the market. Say, 
Senior Christosum a boo a yam may me. Sa Christosum a boon, ye bet me the aqua bonting, a jasso, ye becco a man you say, Mu baby be a war. Christos a former muni muhu a di. Bear then a bet to me, I yes, I dear no. How do we build and sustain the capacity of Christian leaders in governance? We know we have good pastors who can preach and pray, deliverance, healing, and all that. But beyond preaching, beyond prayer, beyond healing, deliverance, how do we build the capacity of our church leaders so that when it comes to matter of governance, when it comes to COVID, when it comes to poverty, they will not be found wanting. They will equally be as helpful as they find themselves in the pulpit. Wa preachi we are Kenya m semi we are bomb pay we are to two other money we are or here some so bit to me I can be no I can be a boy in crossing some and so I did it a gum a dear and I saw for bit to me a yeah boy and then what difference should Christians bring into governance? Say to Omaya uh or man penny that da for fro uh speaker of parliament uh we'll call judiciary teacher for minister of health christopher what does it mean bible say any we are saying train anti christo ni your man penia na ye den christo ni a speaker of parliament na a ye den sa semu ye pese ye bua but let me start from the beginning so let's go to the beginning for the beginning we are talking about the role of the church now what gives us that reason what gives us that plan DNT na mabri bi ba sorry ni tri mu se ye ye wo bibia ye betumi aye aboa kebi ma men kebi aboa oman isi kasem aboa oman ya yam ni yi ebi nu wo suru didi je bi bi hu to won ebi hu en to won so let's start from what i call christian public theology that is where the foundations will come from chair Religion plays a very considerable influence in African life and thought system. Religious values and views have remained key reference point of reflections and decision making at both private and public level. Some countries, you keep your faith as private. But in this country, we, we pray in public at boardroom, high profile boardroom. We, bring, we pray in our boxes. We pray everywhere in this country. And it is allowed you can't do that in some country but in african society in our country we can bring faith into public sphere and the phenomenon if it, this is true if we can bring religion into public life then the phenomenon provides africa christianity a significant advantage of presenting the application of biblical principles and lessons of the word of god for political economic social cultural and general public life if it is true that religion has space in public life in ghana then we must equally take advantage and bring faith perspectives into matter of politics economics and other uh, social concern the christian faith in its nature speaks to all dimensions of human life the gospel does so because God is interested in all facets of human humanity. And the church subsequently must show interest in matters of the common good and social transformation. In Yanum, Christopher in fact, I'm on your cool for be on so on my journey. I saw it. Mudia Bible was sem. Namuya, I'm on your sem. Am I yen? Omo Casasa, a yenu cray. There are some Christians who feel very uncomfortable when they are church leaders, general assembly, uh, presiding Methodist, uh, method, presiding bishop Methodist, Catholic bishop conference, you know, make public statements on matters of politics they feel so for why are you not focusing on the ecclesia spiritual things you know and there are some politicians who want the church to believe that keep your bible and keep the constitution to us 
that what we are saying here is the Christian God is interested in every facet of our lives. Is active participant is not only interested, but God is an active participant in every aspect of humanity. And therefore, the church must equally show interest and concern. Christian ministry is expected to be holistic. That is what I've said so far. Holistic ministry means that you touch the heart, the heart, and the hand. You touch agriculture, you touch engineering, you touch every aspect of life. A holistic approach in Christian ministry is considered to lead to the holistic development of the nation for the common good and the glory of God. See, I have a better heaven. Ain'ty heaven and seven quan year junior. And some heaven, no, you have a faculty for the end of the Presbyterian, you have a faculty for the end of the day. So, I have a faculty for the end of the day. I have a faculty for the end of the day. I have a faculty for the end of the day. I have a faculty for the end of the day. I have a faculty for the end of the day. I have a faculty for the end of the day. I have a faculty for the end of the day. I have a faculty for the end of the day. I have a faculty for the end of the day. Church leaders subsequently bring their faith perspectives to matters of public concern as a ministerial mandate to the pilgrimage with the people. The church must genuinely with the people. A relevant church must be where the people are. Pilgrimage with the people. Faith in public life has been noticed throughout church history. What I'm saying is nothing new. But the concept public theology or public church was however introduced into the second by a theologian, American theologian called Marty Martin in 1970s. And for him, public theology, as many of the applied theologies, like pastoral theology, practical theology, homiletics, and all that, public theology is the responses that the question, the responses to the questions about the public role of the church. What is the public role of the church? So when we talk about public theology, simply put, we are answering the question, is the public role of the church? hospital. market. In fact, will be in your share. So, I'm sorry, no, you may be here saying, or Baba woke near Yambula and San Fernando, near the Nutu, a Bobo Yamua. I'm sorry, no, I should be in a say. The role of religion in general should be one that gives hope. Every religion, the representative of the chief Imam, Islam, Buddhism, every religion must give hope. And churches equally must give hope. Or some beer away we are saying, as I saw some no, a brandy penny that so. Or some and funny that so man a hard drink. Nay, ye dear ye Christ or some, a or some one, a many that so. Christian hope, however, must be beneficial to both people in the church as well as those who are outside the church who may be considered. To be the public church. And you know, Christo Sumuno, Yenso, Yerane, the Enida Swa Eba, by Enida Swa, or Christo Sumuno, and Yen 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 Yen
nti Kristo sumu no yen yen ni da so no ni edi kan ye nipa e wa so dem ha na kro no aye wo mu no ko fo e kro mu ha e kro pon asori no mu no esese asori no e ye ni da so e ma kro no ese kro mu fo no nya ni da so e wo asori no mu papa bi o ho ye friend no olaf fights vight was the general secretary of the world council of churches from 2010 to 2020 and i happened to work in period that i serve as general secretary of christian council now he has argued that if it is not a hope for all if christian hope is not hope for all it is not a real hope and it is not a christian hope this is the direction he gave to the Christian uh, World, Christ, World Council of Churches or the World Christian Body. That a necessary condition for hope is that it expresses itself in love for others, whoever and wherever they are. If it is not hope for all, it is not hope at all. Say, I'm sorry, I was saying, say, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm School bebaha, apomudin bebaha, eni kan ebebaha, asmuji ebeba na nanu mo, eni ni entem krono be kofem se omainu ya asori mo eni daswa. General Secretary Wake said, "Just say, sadia na e wohono enye asori eni daswa. Say asori eni daswa, mu amu wa asori ne se mu nye mu eni daswa na omu eni asori nonso." As I say, we need to be sorry for So, so some people outside the church must have hope because of the presence of the church in the community. Please go home with this, and the church in this country must take note. If it is not for all, it is not hope at all. Whether it's a charismatic church, whether you are a pastor, you drive the best car in town, your wife is the best dressed woman, whatever it is, your cathedral is the biggest, whatever. If the church does not give hope to all, both members and non-members, it is not Christian hope. And I consider that to be very important. If it's not hope for all, it is not hope at all. So churches got themselves involved. And for those who are asking, why are we talking about the church as agent? Church got ourselves involved in the public uh, affairs, matters of public affairs of the nation just to offer hope. Why are we talking about the church agent in matters of consolidating democracy to bring hope? Economic transformation to bring hope. Why are you talking about social equity to bring hope. So with this, now we can say that faith in public life must, however, be directed by the Christian faith, Christian doctrines, and the Christian witness. There is the tendency to reduce the Christian perspectives on public concern by national and global public policy goals. No, you can't reduce the church to social sciences, social theories. We stay focused on theology. Christian faith in the public space must remain confident and trust in God. The hope, Ms. Apache, we bring is the hope that is rooted in God. Not because we are so resourced, we are so whatever, but bring people to a faith in God in the content of Christian doctrine, in the teaching of Christian traditions, in a commitment to serve and share, in embodying a community of faith and practice, in common witness, in words, deeds. These are the principles that we must always keep as we get involved. You don't turn the church to civil society group. We are not. The church is a body of Christ, a spiritual body. So as we go to the public sphere, you maintain certain principles that you will not end up reducing the church to any kind of civil society group. Mr. Chair, now I want to touch on how what I have said so far uh, has been done over the years in this country, thinking that now we are on one level, why the church to function as an agent 
in such matters. Ebusia for se beto sabre e o ha na won te masia ni ame kan ni se Christo som papa biara no ni da so ba wa wo kwa so ma wani da so na konfo kremoni ohieni mobo mobo ni won yo bia no ye ye yesu no ese se se yesu ni ye a odi eni da so e ma safo no se asori ko ye Yan kun kun kun, ye yan ye guya saw them, na ye ye ya de na ye mfa ni own ya kwa nko school, apo mudin or the kwa so accident, she in fire hua. Papa bi ame so ye work council of churches, general secretary, or sin ya mo ye no nye kriso sum papa a sorry ye relevant no enye bi na mo mo ye wo mukuru mo hono. Ti krobi a sorry wum nye presbin kon ICGC Baptist Catholic. Uh, Anglican, I saw it be a organ of Hano. You two for set, I saw it in a man in home and yeah, 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 suffer my way, Juma. I won't any yeah, suffer mono so yeah, 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 but my woman and yeah, and he does so. I will suffer no more. Now, this is the same way we can men you will be set or suffer with the most some kind of Bible. No, we need your mass, Munya lawyer for no one can constitution, Munya politicians, no, ye jaw or more. Eye ye, if we saw Urana was Sumayano, or Sumaya saw them one, or Sumaya Bontain, so you shrank any. Did you say Sabri, Nyaya, and what you are saying? What you are saying there? Any and fear Bebra, Presby Church, a Kahono, Nyaya, ye was a TBA mono, and a Mepesa Maya. Now remember, Presby Church will celebrate 200 years. Uh, do we have the original minister in the room? And let's respect him for who he is. We have the regional minister in the house. Mumu yen sorry kakra wai. Ye ure yi waya adi ya pa. Bibi kosu we krop. Miye minye bianka meko. President ya waga. Kropon. Papa ye fye kropon ena eba. Ye ure edawasi. Nyamin shra. Pacho trans. Endye muma yen transi. Ye ke siye bi we kropon wa mampeni e woho. Ne se reji ino. Ure anu okobi. The Utumi Kono Tumri Kefiho, a bar, just any a sombo, a man. Bura, Miss Ekasa Enche Nanya Makan is a Christosum Papa Biadian in the Soba. Now Christosum Adian in the Soba Safo Mancuemu, Nem Feni da Soma, O Bia Unia Sorimono, and yet Christosum Papa. Say a persecris or some near Papa. Omo by a sorin, and so many are sorin when it does so. But Omo Omo. Omo omo ti abonte kwa omo wia petition omo kwa busum so omo ni nara ese omo niya asori mo ni daso na yeye sa amanyo phone yeye maji anye yeye di me ni obi se mu kain babo na mu fa constitution ni ma yeye na mu demu ni mu she yeye ni mu she isa nse pa na wa no osi e pon asori ya tuwa mu e wa parliament house yes pon asori ya yen tuwa mu o jubini house enti ni yana yen tuwa mu no asembi amu kana babo si ya yen kebi amen. Now let's come. Chris, but remember, it is the Equapim Presbytery that is 100 years, but not the Presbyterian Church of Ghana. I hope you know the difference. We are about uh, 94 years now, in six years, this church will be 90, no, 100 and. So in, in the next six or so years, PCG will be 200 years. So, Mama and Kan Semini, a year presbytery no, na a din fear or ha. Na ya sorry, dear. A sorry a di can buy, and sorry a di can buy ya. En wu, na atwa su sa, en wu da. Kaka krebi na yen fear mi, no, no. Enu di again ye demufia, a ye presbyterian, a sorry no. Enti, a sorry ni yin an huwa semini, ye kan fear he no. Na, e kwa pim presbytery, presbytery. So, Christian public witness. And let me go back to Bible. Christian public witness as a mission. When you are into Christian mission, there are two major missions. And the church and PCG, we have done all. Number one is what we call spiritual witness. Another word for it evangelism spiritual 
witness. And you can read that from Matthew 4, 23. And this is scripture. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Now, when you do spiritual witness, you are bringing people into relationship with God. You are bringing people into the kingdom. That is spiritual witness, mission. But that is not the end of Christian mission. There is another level of Christian mission. And that is what we call either social witness or public witness. And it's the same scripture. Jesus, Acts chapter 10, verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Who went about in good? Now here, Jesus was not only bringing people into the kingdom, but he went, he attended funeral. He attended weddings. Bring people to all manner of people. Healing people, not because they had believed or they will believe, but he was doing God because God was with him. So when the church come to the public space and do good to people, like we have every girls, it's not only Christians, everybody. Wesley girls has and Muslim girls preferred before. Now that is public witness. When we build up hospital, whether the people who go to the hospital will give their life to Christ or not, you are doing public witness. But when we go out and the crusades or campus ministries or all the others that you know, hoping that we will get people to become vision 1.5, you are doing spiritual witness. And Jesus did both spiritual witness in Public witness. Aha, ye nyam se bema na ye nene namuno. Se oka matu a se mpa. I must say no ko shia de mu say no ko kenya mu se mu ni nyam ni mu se kramu adwin mu ni nyam entem enye kama. Now we are no a tia si jump a year se obi ko si ene ba. No de nsa tu no sunu enya ne no wedding obi ane wedding eni mu asi aba no ko wedding mu se yesu no ko we wedding enya ne dia. Omo oma onso. And so almost a cry, oh man, a cry, Bible and can. He yes, you know, on in them or yeah, Papa. It is said Presbyterian for I have school where we girls, Christo Nibako, Cremoni Bako, Bosom Niba Eko, Obi Abako, Wesley girls, I have met this for there. Cremoni, I have girls prefect. I won't cast it now. We have met this name now. Unim, 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 a baby jump to Debbie. Say, and say, yes, you know. Oh yeah, Papa. And that must be the paradigm. Jesus' advocacy in mission is or must be the paradigm. Now here, Mr. Chairman, I want to touch on the stories of Christian Council of Ghana and the Presbyterian Church of Ghana. I'm happy Mr. Edumante is uh, uh, here with me, especially as I reflect on the story, brief story of the Christian Council of Ghana. Ghana Hano, were a bodies. The said Christian Council, Cali Bishop Conference, Ghana Pentecostal public witness, no more communicable bodies, no person may fat Christian Council. Na and sorry no so may fat ye ye Now Christian Council of Ghana was Established October 30th, 1929, by five churches PCG, Methodist, uh, EP, Evangelical, Presbyterian, AME Zion, and Anglican. When they started, their primary goal was Christian unity. They wanted to come together as people of faith. And you. However, they directed their unity to three important areas. Education, social transformation, that is uh, uh, what we are talking about, public witness and the others, and Christian advocacy. So Christian council, yes, Christian unity, but the unity had a focus and it still has 
a focus. We do public education. We go all out. And for social transformation, they provide infrastructure, schools, health. So we have a body we call Christian Health Association of Ghana. And check. And it controls almost about 40% of all health facilities in Ghana. Chuck controls about 40% of all health facilities. So social transformation, you provide the infrastructure. You build the schools. But you function as the voice for the unheard voices. Now let me tell you, please, don't describe anybody as voiceless. Nobody is voiceless. Uh, but even uh, those who we may consider to be dumb, whatever, they speak. The correct word must be unheard voices. Unheard. They speak. Here. Some of you, what my good friend is doing, you see, you don't understand. One more year advocacy, you know, a Christian sorry, no, my idea, can home. I'm see at the bachelor near the Cosso and when you never or minor near about Dero Abua or more, almost can be a yenteno, Nayama, Safo, no, ne, at it. Now, if you read through the, the public statement communique of Christian Council, this the deep. I run through. It's a work I have done and I understand that when it comes to matters of advocacy, Christian Council is not only the fourth republic. Now remember Christian Council was started 1929. So the council and its leaders were part of the struggle towards independence. And if you look at the pictures, you have Christian Council leaders all over the place. It seems I should just be here. Democracy and good governance, peaceful and credible general election. These topics, anytime you find statements coming from the Christian Council, expect the fact they are not different from what Presbyterian Church of Ghana would do. Cultural transformation and cultural ennoblement, quality education and education for all agriculture and food security fight against corruption christian council is always responding to pandemics hiv and aids recently COVID, and many more artisan training development of commerce and economic growth delivery of health and medical services social welfare of people all people and social addressing challenges of inequalities pick any of Christian Council of Ghana and these are the subjects that they will be addressing. Not from that, even if you go back to the uh, early beginnings. Now let me come back to PCG and public witness. You are all Presbyterians, but something happened in the Presbyterian church that served as a turning point in our public witness. It took place in 1994 during the 65th Synod, then Synod at Sunyani. At Sunyani, Synod took a decision to issue communique or communique be sent to the head of state anytime Synod meet. This is to replace the traditional message of greetings to the head of state. Before 94, Synod will write greetings to the head of state. At Sunyani, we decided that we will stop that. We will each communicate. And those of you who have been going to uh, General Assembly, you find screen like this, line by line, and Mr. Dumante will come and challenge, change this word, and others will keep, keep it, don't change it. In 1994, <laughs> we are together. We do that. At that's all we do. Ashna, if you read the decision as Sunyani, it's stated the rationale of the PCG was to partner the government. I'm quoting from the minister to 
partner the government in governance. This is our church. A communique will make more impact than a mere message since a communique will call government attention to burning issues that needed attention in the country. PCG took this decision and the rationale has been stated. And therefore, as I speak to you now, and I'm picking these figures from our moderator, he visited Asante Presbytery and his uh, address, uh, that's where these figures are coming from. As I speak to you now, as part of our public witness, he sees 2,000, in fact, over 2,000 basic schools, 33 senior high schools, four vocational schools, five colleges of education, five lay training centers, two fledged universities, seven agricultural stations, 57. Mr. Honorable, uh, I want to say that 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 57 health institutions, including four district hospitals, one primary hospital, one specialist hospital, four health training institutions, 21 health centers, 16 clinics. I thought you were going to pray. Clap for yourself for being a member of this church. This is a church. This is a relevant church. We don't need to go and tell everybody a year dress, a year dress, a chair, moon, you know, sorry, papa. Yet they are sorry, sick, a dear, and it does so a bar. Near my make a canoe. Say, what shall you are sorry? One more buy, my man, um, rest be a son, for us, and I, a general. It could be a man, a year, you might be a need a swabber. The name of Cassay, basic school, primary school, maybe one. You are sorry, you are some pim, you know, you are senior high school. Senior high school kwa edia sami and sa momo had ye biwa habi bre kwa pem. Ya wa vocational school kosya de pam any adeno. Ya sorry wan nine. Colleges of education is a PTC agogo. Ya was a num chebi lay training center. Ya wa num university a ye accredited. Ya wam ye nu acrofi crystal and a presby university. A fen e bin musi ba kume can't remember presby. Yes me you know. Agricultural stations, yeah, one so health institution clinic, a clinic, is I would do no more so. Ah, district hospital, they say, one for no district, district, no one, yeah, one and nine primary health care, and then getting you know, and no, yeah, one baku specialist baku na training institution, maybe a question, a google nurses training college, you know, yeah, one side, you know, ba. Health centers, 12 training year four, but health centers 21. Clinic 16. Chronica. Let me say, so who are sorry we more? My wedding year, a sansa are sorry no, and my young woman need a saw. Now, I'm when you want to say, you need a saw. I am sorry, papa. Oh, bitch, you are not can now call press be soon soon anymore. I'm sorry, a soon soon woman, and only I'm sorry, a junior nipper home. I'm sorry, a soon soon woman, or so from car, or so from toma, or so for shoe, or so for yet, and yes, or soon soon woman, and yes, soon soon papa. The church and the sustainable development goals in Ghana. Now, September 2015, United Nations issued a blueprint to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all people and the world by 2020. And the 17 goals, one is no poverty, zero hunger, good health and well-being, quality education, gender equality, clean water and sanitation. Sanitation is there. Affordable and clean energy. Decent work. Decent, not only having work, but having decent work. And economic growth. Inclusivity and infrastructure. Reduce inequality. The subject we are talking about is there. Sustainable communities. Responsible production and consumption. Climate action, life below water, life on land, that is Galam say. Peace, justice, and strong institution democracy. Mr. Chairman, the 17th one talks about part 
partnership for the groups. Now, United Nations is asking government to enter into partnership with faith-based organizations. They are doing that with World Council of Churches and others. And I pray and hope that if God means business with sustainable development goals, we must pay attention in every sector, building partnership and respecting the partnerships. Now, let me pick the three areas and Moving here, I will be brief. So just relax, okay? Democracy and good governance. Remember talking about consolidating democracy or democratic consolidation. And here I will pull examples, like I said, from other African countries. Let me explain why. There's a Christian organization called Alliance for Christian Advocacy Africa. And I serve as their coordinator at the moment. We have people in Angola, DR Congo, Tanzania, Kenya, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and I run around all of them. I go around DR Congo and jump to Angola. So we, we compare notes. So when I'm about to tell you uh, information that I pick from other Africans, and that is why I don't want to put myself to this country. So most Africans at the moment accepted democracy as a stem of government. Many African countries. Constitutions have been enacted with the separation of powers among executive, legislature, judiciary. There are various freedoms such as speech, press, movement, association, religion. Institutions of accountability have been spelled out with well-defined mandates and various security agencies. Electoral processes that define terms of office, voting rights, Handing over of power to new political administrations are very clear in statutory uh, books. But, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Kofi Annan, a former general Sec or secretary general of United Nations, has made a very profound statement. Democracy is not just about one day every four or five years when elections are heard, but a system of government that respects and that is the operational word, that respects the separation of powers, fundamental human rights, uh, like the freedom of thought, religion, expression, association, and the rule of law. Any regime, any, that rise roughshod on these principles loses its democratic legitimacy. And that is where the consolidating issue is coming from. The issue you have raised, how do we consolidate democracy? Is coming from what Mr. Kofi Annan is saying that if it happens, that even if at the initial we had election, but we don't respect, democracy will go back. And so I would dare say we need that does not work for some of the people, but democracy that works. For all the people. A democracy that responds to bread and butter issue. And Professor Achu, Professor University of Ghana, is saying that if you want democracy to work, it's leadership. And uh, let me move a bit fast. For Achu, leadership is not only the politicians, but leadership refers not only to national leaders, but equally to leadership at some national level and in all sectors. Business people, if democracy will work, business must work. Business organization, they have a role to play. Trade unions, NGOs, professional association, and churches, faith-based organization. We must all be in the partnership as the sustainable is saying. Let me skip some of this. But let me come to challenges of democratic consolidation, economic transformation, and social inequalities in the Africa continent. Challenges of sustainable democracy now has something to do with how do we speak truth to power and leadership. How do we speak truth? And then you cannot cry. Try and penny for an hour down room. But if you are him for so, I could see a bamboo for media, be being coya, 
ye den na sori no yetimi ka no kra no kra pa me se emfa nsu onyina ye num e kire mpenefo na what happened may sound so simple but something we call democracy of dictatorship dictatorship of the majority democracy as dictatorship of the majority and this country must now guard against democracy as the dictatorship of the majority and i will explain there are some african countries that have all the issues but now listen go to equatorial guinea they have a leader who has served 36 years if you look at the constitution it's five five years but because he has his people majority in the parliament when it's time for him to leave then they they change the constitution and they give him another five years and then they give him another five years and and nobody can challenge that if you have majority i will always want to do this we call it dictatorship of the majority it's not only equatorial guinea go to angola even you know i visit there sometimes three times a year helping their leaders their leader who left eh? eduardo dos santos 36 years to their constitution he doesn't have that 36 years Fabia is still our, our own <laughs> president who will not even live in the whole country he's gone beyond 33 years uganda more than 30 years he's still around it is not in the constitution but they are doing it because they have the numbers Mugabe did 28 years. Chad, 25 years. Omar Bashir in Sudan, 22 years. Algeria, 22, uh, 20 years. Jame, uh, uh, stayed on 19 years. Kabila, I've been running a leadership workshop for uh, here at Congo. And I brought, we brought 21 of their heads of churches to Ghana to study what we do here. Kabila was around 18 years. And this they call democracy. That's the dictatorship of the majority. And it can happen to us. And to a recent hung parliament, at a point where in this MPP, any bill that moved from the executive to the parliament, you could guarantee that it will be passed. Have you noticed that? It is the recent one that Yi Levy has suffered. And what is fueling that is what we call winner takes all. That's back by legal provision. IEA put up a team under the chairmanship of Justice Amy Short to go around the whole country to put, I mean, put together the thoughts of Ghanaians on winner takes all. And I was a member of the team. We move all. And there are Ghanaians who believe strongly that portions of our current constitution port winner takes all and mr chairman mr. honorable kandapa has made a statement i'm not going to the merits of the statement but i just want to take it as a caution statement that statement could have come from anybody church leader ndc cpp it could have come from media so i'm um, hearing some say you should you should have consulted legal minds and all that i don't want to go there but let's take the statement as it is and take mr kandapa out if the interpretation of the law is tilted so much in our favor all the time people will start accusing the judiciary and will not have the confidence that they need honorable Kandapa. April 11. Now, Ghanaians and our leaders must be concerned about this. When people start having the impression that after all, when you go to court, you're buying a wasp. Do you call executive unyashi? Do you call parliament Uko kwa otokura ansuwa. 
Another threat of a democracy in Ghana. 2020, we put together the Alliance for Christian Advocacy, 100 pastors, and we were given accreditation to monitor the election in eight regions. Even during the registration around Bono area, a young man died. Registration. Munko chule mudinu kurahano. Kachi biwi. Ya tu abani wye police report. Nipa mwoke. Adie hagan abani. Ayabatu. Ha democracy. Krono. Krono. Krono no die. Minister katabasyon. MPP for bo krono. NDC for also bo krono. E kwa don kwa nkwa nwini mkrono no bo. They all cheat. Seriously. All of you. The two leading. Munya krono bono. Give us clean election. Too much ma manipulation. But you are still my friend. I ask you to close your ears. Violence in our electoral system. Violence. We have a law to address vigilante. But 2020, we had unnecessary ethnocentrism. On fear. Where you wait? Where you wait? And had. So, we said, to a baby Peace campaign. Peace ambassadors. And then, Dan Boche, a press bini, former MPP general secretary. As you are doing, Katia, Ayasa for Penny, press bini, NDC general secretary. MPP general secretary. NDC general secretary. You are to a bar. As I say, I am just saying. Presbyterian form, you know. Of for example, for a year. A, a church of Pentecost elder. I don't know what the enemy is to about your die and now. I just can't understand. This what we are going through. Ain't he ever to about? We don't discuss issues. We are scared. Signing of peace accord. All the prayer meetings are ready. My asumujo, my asumujo, a dear one in a year. All the public educations, and this must stop somewhere. The threat to peace must give way to education on issues. Bread butter issues. There's something we call culture of silence. Now, if you read uh, uh, Paulo Freire, culture of silence doesn't mean people are not talking. People go through what they go through before they talk. Attack on voices of wisdom, national issues, by party food soldiers. Normally, Leaders should be afraid of their people. But if it happens that the people are afraid of their leaders, you have a culture of silence. Economic challenges to transformation. Demanding transformation. I will not elaborate. Unemployment of our young people. High cost of living. High cost of doing business. Inflation. We have bankers in the room. Exchange rates. Corruption in public service. Challenge with honest labor, difficult to trust some people, even who feel tell us they are born again. Sound work ethics, poverty is there, migration of young people. Now, how come that what is illegal in Britain now has become legal in Rwanda? And that's what I'm saying. Britain said, Obia, ba Britain, one fact, and Papa Soma, we illegal migrants, you know. They are called Rwanda. They are do good, and they are good, Rwanda. Then oh yeah, illegal. Are you operating? Any year, do I don't call Rwanda there? Some of our young people are, who want to go to Europe to be brought back to Rwanda are now who ever Mediterranean Sea. About ano, kwala na si omo kwa brochure no omo fa from San in Namibia. E puno no omo tuomogu. E bo e yu omo kuma kidney na e tonu tisania omo ocean. Ten cities, ten years, for ten cities. They say they enjoy ten cities, thirty-five. Go in, clean. Can a former entrepreneur come to Britain? A come. Social inequalities, the gaps between the rich and the poor, the urban and the rural community gaps. Quality of education, minority traditional communities. Let us be careful here. Some languages are dying. Senior language is dying. So she, some languages are dying. Even people in so, Kasabira, Ghana, for everybody is proud 
about his or her language. Let us pay attention to minority traditional communities and their uh, uh, languages. But Mr. Chairman, free SHS, I believe, is a game changer. I will say again and again that free SHS seriously respond to social the inequalities. And my prayer and hope that it will go beyond Nanado. It will go beyond MPP. That all others must know that if we want to close the gap, one surest way is to sustain free SHS. Let us limit the politicization. Now let me come to Prospect. I'll be out of this place very soon. What do we have? Prospect number one. Christian public. We are so far. So our own public theology the entry point. Then the history of churches in sociopolitical issues provide that. Yet the other from my yen. Yet the fioha. Fioha ekano. Yet kwe ni mono. Mom my yen konto kwa. Chairman si ya pesi ya school koforidia. Man is soft be on contour. Use your own history to support this. That is PCG. Then there's public expectation on faith and public. Oh, yes, I'm back. Now, so for no more, he Professor Marte was he Professor Santa was he Christian Council was he. When we do a Ghana for free, you know, the church must know that there's a demand that we must respond to. Then we have credibility and a niche. Christian Council has credibility. We have a niche. Catholic Bishop Conference. PCG, we have credibility. Then the church has the price. Yen kwa na kwesia de bi enipa betena ye nchen ye ma wo maduani ni ye ma wo munsuo so mo se tie sika ma ye conference bi ani wa okwa kwesia de bi amba let us use our mobilization effort to respond to national issues issues about economic transformation then we still have plans of communique we have done that in 1994 let us use that Presbyteries must issue communique. Also, for who here will presbytery conference address Eastern regional issues, address issues in the Kwapem presbytery. And change a moderator Kasansa na would you in your Bibianca? Basabasabi walk a Koswa for one or So, because the church has made a decision, let's continue. Unkebi ma policy for dampare ni mo yade. Wan nyahu ye kuranka mo mana mo wayade. Papa policy ya mama mo minim salutu. Kame salutu ba na kweta policy ni kana. Ni ya ya no mo miyanka. Mo mche me obi nyabo ni ansa. Ability, availability of media. They say media or social media or ho. Let us use that. And then we have interfaith and a communicable relation. Adia ye kremoni tim. Christian Council. Challenges I will only highlight. The Christian unity is so weak. A communicable relations, you know. Yeah, now uh, we'll be as a men kong kong kong. We'll be a penny We need a balanced Christian spirituality. There are those who think spirituality stop with speaking in tongues, casting out demons. We need a better, bigger understanding of spirituality. Let us close the gap between huge Christian numbers and economic conditions of the people. Let us avoid partnership of convenience by politicians and politicians be up so before forward and for now we yen ya or permano ni opeso can no can amano we must enter into partnership with politics government political party in government outside government. But I say this to all the churches. Avoid partnership of convenience that you reduce the church to another agency of political party. The church is not. Challenges of capacity building. Discipleship materials. Don't pay much attention to public issues. Bible studies say, oh, sorry, 
enyina kwan be na be a christian or a politician ye nkyere how do i become a christian a member of parliament politician we don't study these things in church somebody our our church life and nature how to be effective civil servant in Ghana. we must and strategies into the future as i conclude i will request that all our public seminaries department of religion study religions department let us pay attention to public theology i teach that at KNUST at postgraduate level what i'm talking about that's what i teach master's phd and i wish you bring so many students from your presbytery to study public theology. That's what I go to South Africa also to do. Trinity Abitifi, let the curriculum respond to. We must develop capacity of Christian leaders, both lay and ordain for Christian public witness. Don't take it for granted. Let us form Christian advocacy clubs among young people and students to influence them for future leadership. Angola is doing this. It's very beautiful. Now they are thinking about governance 10, 20 years from now. And now they bring young people together and they teach them democratic principles. So beautiful. We don't do anything like this. Let's begin thinking about how Ghana should look like the next 15, 20 years and start building that Ghanaian mind that will get us there. Success of democratic consolidation, economic transformation, and social equity in Africa continent is a collective responsibility. Say, yeah, 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 that is how we will get the social transformation we are looking for. Economic transformation. Media. Ghana for a year come at the home home. We have four years. All banana car to we see. A bedroom broke or not. A year long cruise. Now for Fraba no bedi no co. All banana high than two bedroom. Obey we know a Sabro sign. One me and fire one yim. I'm a bucket with a mahosa. Ye who cry a mabitiaka. Church members must be encouraged. To respond to the Christian advocacy ministry, let us pursue spirituality that brings people into relationship with God and our neighbor. Mume nipe unkonya mincheng, ba unipa unkoni nyanchen. Yankwa hinfi, yankwa sume na nanum, yankwa sume abaymu, yankwa fomu unkosum, yankwa jomu unkosum. Church reports must include Christian impact on community. Roman bishops, we see a turn on my head. Also, from come as far as ma, we pay to do say. Na brano na wote shono. E nswa sema te say. E jamu te say. E ma ko jamu mu nyabe bi jonso. Encourage regular research and publication. Sustain the issuance of communique as Christian hope and Christian voice for both members and non-members. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think uh, Honorable Speaker needs a standing ovation for this. Let's do it for him. Let's do it for him. And a big round of applause for that. A big one. A big one. A big one. A big one. Please, you may sit. Thank you so much, our scholar, our pastor and our clergyman. Thank you so much. At the right time, the vote of thanks will be moved. Ascension Youth Choir, after this wonderful presentation, give us a spot of music for it to sediment well.
Thank you very much, Ascension Youth Choir. Deputy Chairperson, say, with your permission, I do a few acknowledgments of some of our guests who have joined us in the course of the program. Like we all heard, we have with us the Honorable Regional Minister, Honorable Seth Echampon, with us. Say, you are welcome this morning. We also have Nana Osei Ousu Ejari Akwedum Hini, representing the New Jabin Traditional Council, Nana Yema Akwaba. We have with us Mr. Dominic Ejepon from the Ghana National Fire Service with us this morning. We have with us Mr. Godfrey Jean Ewuku, Regional Engineer of the Electricity Company of Ghana with us here this morning. We have Mr. Bless MFA Ameho from the Environmental Protection Agency. We also have Madam Jean Gorge from the Environmental Protection Agency. We have Mr. Samuel Pantisakwa from the fire service with us this morning. We have Mr. Ebenezer M. Yesu from the Abuabu congregation. We have Mr. Seth Enim Sapon, Vice Principal of Kufuridria Technical Institute with us this morning. We have Mr. Kufi E.J. Tuajira from the Ghana Police Service, the Divisional Commander with us this morning. Sir, you are welcome. Beloved in the Lord, this event is a public lecture, and as a way of encouraging interaction, we've made provision for just some few questions. You may have one or two questions to ask. So for the sake of time, all on my right, if you have questions, we give a maximum of two. Then all on my left, if we have two. Then up here on the podium, if there are any questions. So let me see by hand those who may have a question to ask. Two, so I have one, two here, please come forward to the podium. So I have finished already one. Yes, please. So you introduce yourself by your name and the institution you are coming from. So my right, I have finished two. On my left, anyone with questions? To my left, anyone with questions? Okay, thank you very much for being gracious. Please up the podium, we'll come to you when we finish the doors down. Yes, sir, please go ahead. Please on the microphone. For the opportunity, I will also want to say my Please, your name, introduce yourself by your name and your Emmanuel Pamio to the district minister of Amanukrum. Thank you. Yes. Papa, I was very glad when you mentioned values, necessary and objective, which we should consider so much in our church. But don't you think the church, especially the Presbyterian church, has departed from what Jesus prescribed? Hand over what you have to trusted persons and let them also hand it over to in that sequence. We, which is more akin and like the Episcopalism, we have now departed to the reform tradition, which is more also akin like um, the democracy. And so it gives the opportunity to manipulate. But if we stick to what God wants from us, don't you think that we would have more objective, necessary, universal values? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The second person. My name is Reverend Samuel Ofer with the Suhum Congregation of the PCG. Um, I want to thank our guest speaker for that insightful presentation. Um, a lot of the things that we said, especially experience from the African countries, and we are glad that we don't see them in Ghana, especially with presidents staying over for 20 and 19 years. 
but um, you, you touched on it, but I want to bring it back so that we delve deep into it. It's a challenge of overly being partisan. Um, some people were excited about the hung parliament, but we can say that even the hung parliament has been approached in a way of personal interest, where even issues that has to have national conversations are being approached in, uh, in partisan interest to the extent that it has, it has trickled into the community politics. Again, um, it is also affecting the advocacy of the church, where this is almost like a second question, where there is also the impression that when one party is in parliament, the church is strong in its advocacy. But when another party is in parliament, we see that the church is very comfortable, even when things are not going on so well. So what is the role and how can the church be seen as that neutral? We, we, we can never be neutral, but I mean to see the church in its okay. role of thank, helping the group for that uh, democracy. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So we are done here. Sir, you may respond to these two, then we come up to the podium. Now, I saw for Kwame Usu. I saw for Kwame Usu say, Sani and Kayaso, you need a tick kind of pan, and he says, Say, Yen fi kwam papa no yen chia There's this assumption that any good pastor can be a good administrator. Any good preacher can manage an insurance company. There's this thinking that if a church set up and we get a preacher who know, or somebody who knows how to pray very good in prayer, we'll be able to. Now that assumption needs to be revisited. Yeah, do you say so? So be to me preach or be ni mumpa ya bo to two demons, sir. What the bank man or so? What the insurance? We hear trade union, a cooperative ademano. What the bbi man or be to my a room rebia to sir, a room rebia enter sir. When we say yeah, sorry, na ya wo wo get the business akasi akasi be ni ni na egugu. Ya bre pa book de no mo ni adi se. Ya bre pa. Isu su se. Church no ko area biya. As I said, we must build capacity of our people without assuming that because the so and so is a good pastor, a good preacher, a good, in fact, good Christians are supposed to be able to do certain things, but their capacities must be built. And sometimes, I feel we are very slow in this area. In fact, when you get closer to God Catholic Bishop Conference, they do that a lot. So, if they, they are talking about legal things, they have full-time lawyers and they don't interfere with their work and allow them. They, they employ certain people. Even if you are a pastor and you don't have those strengths, they won't give that assignment to you. If you are suffering and they want to give that assignment to you, then they send you out and train you. I sometimes feel that we give assignment to people that we have not consciously built their capacities. They get in there and sometimes we get what we don't want. So I will not totally say we have deviated, but then I have also observed that in terms of building capacities for certain assignment, uh, sometimes we have a lot of uh, uh, assumption. Oh, so for when so I find you, but my yaman uncle a Greek. When so I find you, yaman uncle a brochure. Dude, you could do a book or do a brochure. I know a samba so no home to me in time. So let me leave it like that and draw attention to the need for capacity building. Now, this uh, hmm, overly partisanship, let us get this in mind. Our democracy. During. Some countries have done it 100, 200 years. How many years? So we still have a long way 
to go. The challenge of extreme partisanship has a lot to do with our media at the moment, Ghanaian media, and those owners of media, because now you have people who have specific political interests setting up media houses, using those media houses to pursue their political interests. And so sometimes you are not sure the editorial policy. People sitting there as long as if it is uh, MPP or NDC, if it is NDC, as long as they are bashing MPP in a way, where you're comfort, wait, wait about Bonnie, you're unstoppable. Then you get the other side. Now, partisanship and lack of objective editorial policy in Ghanaian media is what is fueling the over partisanship challenges uh, too much. Of almost anything. Because as I said, what can you say, Brian? What can somebody pack on to you? Why you want some way out, Smessy, straight. No mood to do at them. So gradually, we are silencing voices of uh, wisdom in Ghana. When you must have any answers, what can not a year be because depending on the media house of Epic, as I'm now kind of, you know, you know, you know, you know, so what kind of one can be a man MPP? Ah, now one can be a man NDC. And now, full soldiers, no, on my mobile phone, be brave, a man, or more, into a grand or pana, back of four crabs and watch. Peace FM, I don't win, ain't it? Almost for no affair. And if you find a say a crown for, or more, or more, Bermono, one more, more crown, crown, no more boy, one who be the Ephraim Kruma person, no, Cosa. No. Sanitary year of fish one, Napa Conaba, and this is for no more. They do no A crown for crown for scientific objective. There's no deep, no argument. And one in Chabon one, I hear Chaboy and Hosa. And in Chabon, dear, because National Media Commission, any owners of media houses, no, Ebenya and Comopia, a din to Boisieca cra. Ebe bano, ye wo kwen cha, e honan to kwane kese ye, e fi eba. Mi host program wo GTV. What is next? And university vice chancellors, council of state, traditional leaders, San Penifor, e bi wo ha wo kwa, yes wo nim ni obe kwa, so fu we wo kwa ken, akwa lebi yen, so we diwa tem, fre we diwa tem, ma mintra me bebi. Amwe di atem no susu nina, MPP mpeni fosa na nado de yonte so waka seti obia. President Mahama de yonte so waka seti obia. Na omu e guwa siya honu. Na omu abo omu paano. Na omu chabwa omu suswa. Omu mu biye ama bonti mbe kase. Omu nyaye. So let's leave the, you know, partisanship there. But as long as the media is full in it, uh, we have a long way to go. But back to the church. I pray and hope that I have served as Christian Council General Secretary. The various ecumenical bodies and the churches should not give any uh, uh, a body impression that we have entered into partnership of convenience with any political party. Uh, the Christian Council I work with, that was not my impression. PCG, as I see, that is not what we do. Nihani said, and the topic now is Christian Council can. Ye can win this breast MPP ni a papa dia mini ni can and this was san a can yes and a MP ne mum or mo opposition na sam cronwa can no ma bema wa mo me to a cause a minya so for why yat ye who bema as some cronwa muba party mu na oko can so for a some way as of some who pesa we ye a ye politics up Russell for Tadden Row, I'm running your politics. I'm more young one people. We are winning this um chaboy, sir. Ain't he young man shed that set? Ya, 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 Jane said, Ya, Kabia, Mobi. But at the Cronoa, or more opposition, I will can, or more bomb and send my own, a man, or more bar, Bermuna, or can't send Cronum be trouble. At the end, I will can, or more Bermuna, or more new this year, you know, or more fear Bermuna, 
na wuti u baabi kura enti asofo no ohi na monkasa asofo no ohi na nsa metibia ma ye kum he na meti enti asofo wo gana ha na na professor mate wa ha en wo nkasa professor mate kasa amani a wahu enti minia uh same i would suggest that we must avoid giving that impression about ourselves having said that I also know that it's a political strategy. When they are in opposition, uh, uh, they cry differently. When they are in power, the sound uh, 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 changes. Thank you. Hello. Hello, sir. We'll now come up. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. I, I introduce... Mr. Du Mante for a purpose because he is your lay rep, but oh, oh, former. Oh, you can come for this one. Oh, okay, because okay, fine. But not because he's former lay rep, but this public witness struggle, some of the things I'm talking about, I know that he has some insight. Maybe a short comment on this. Thank you very much, Papa. I'm Robert Dumanti, a Brew Calvary congregation. Papa, I just want to make a comment and invite your views on the statement attributed to Honorable Kandaba. Let me first of all say that I don't know him. I've never met him in person. But I'm concerned that we should avoid creating the impression that when you and I go to court consistently, there must be equalization of victories in court. And that is because what I have been hearing is that people go to court and cases are consistently uh, against them. I believe that every case has a certain level of intrinsic value. Every case has certain merit. But if you and I go to court consistently, and I continuously go to court with unmeritorious cases, I will lose continuously. So we should avoid that public perception being turned into a strategy for certain litigants to create the impression that the judiciary is against them and that is why they are consistently losing cases. It will become a strategy for me to go to court consistently with unmeritorious cases for me to lose consistently and then tell everybody that, you see, the judiciary is against me. And that is part of the bastardization of the judiciary that is going on currently and that is dangerous for our democracy we need to be careful uh, about that yesterday i heard a lawyer comment that two supreme court judges who dissented in a recent case were the ones who gave the right judgment but the same two people joined the majority in another case of a 6-0 majority, and the same lawyer said they were wrong. Thank you very much. I welcome your views on that. Kadame is trying to say, I do Christian Council, yeah, yeah, no. I do maybe I see where and I'm saying this, you are trying to say, MPP, no. I'm making me more me. And so, uh, I will repeat what I said earlier on. I don't intend discussing the merits, whether it is true, not true, right. That is not what I want to do. I've heard even high profile MPP people saying he should have sought legal. That is, that is not what I want to do now. But I am my thinking is, assuming Honorable Kandapa did not say this, 
but okoje to a black quadet um at bishop na me calic bishop conference anybody let us listen to what is in there it doesn't mean we are there but let us take it as a caution statement so for me i will not want to even go whether honorable kandapa or but let us make sure that all state institutions sustain public confidence let us not do anything that weakens or threatens public confidence because democracy survives on public confidence in state institutions so i want to lead. may also come into this conversation knowing what you know and and then uh but me me also oh no i a lawyer me the me a lawyer name mom me me can he say ma ye me mu ye nye bi bi a e be ye se me nye we inti na ye ma mi we sad ye no na me de me can me a can de uh ye nye ma lawyer for any party for no mon ka oma se Please, the up here had two slots, so one has been used. May I know if someone else has a question up here? Okay, thank you. There is a gentleman there, so you have the final in-house question. A question came from online, so when you finish, I'll ask that one. Please go ahead. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Um, I'm Apia Danko Osmond from the National Peace Council. My question is, uh, the church, the youth, and politics. What are we doing to bridge the gap between the youth and politics and violent extremism? Thank you very much. OK, thank you very much. So this program is running online. So we have one question from Mr. Joe Banson. I know Mr. Joe Banson is in the Groupon church. His question reads, I guess the church does not truly exhibit the courage and fairness of Christ. Is it a way of not yielding fully to the spirit of truth? Does the church lack something? This is his question. Thank you, sir. Now, the church youth politics. We have a history. CPP. Young pioneer, they did it those days. Now we don't have. But now on university campuses, you have NDC youth or student, tertiary something, MPP, tertiary. I ask myself, where do the Christian youth go? And that is why I mentioned what is happening in Angola. Now, Angola Christian Council of Ghana, they have suffered. It's one of the countries that I showed to you. Angola has suffered from civil war to uh, uh, dictatorship of democracy. Now, what the church is doing is now youth politics church they are mobilizing young people and teaching, you know, who is neighbor sound leadership what we need in governance traditionally not necessarily because you are a member of parliament or president but deliberately the angola church is discussing issues about good governance democracy among young people in the church hoping that the next 20 years when this cream of people are no more, the church will also groom people with Christian understanding of society, of leadership, of governance. I pray and hope that we have such a thing in our church life and nurture Christian education program. Not doing purely politics, but leadership principles, governance principles, managing uh, our resources, and, you know, kind of club 
that we are preparing people who are interested. Who knows? 20 years to come, PCG may produce the next president, vice president and, and of Ghana. Who knows that we will produce many more regional ministers for Eastern region. Have you noticed that now, I know my good friend Muslims are there, but many, many MPs, Alaji, Hajia, have you observed something? Judges, what are you doing? We'll talk about this another time. But a brother from uh, a cropon to me, and I will say the same thing. The church is too strong. We have the numbers. But let us also revisit. And as we celebrate this hundred years, let us revisit our nurturing system, our nurturing, our Christian education. You see, please, Monte Masio, me a scripture union, me a supersident, me to be a deal, me say you. And what's on me so, as my member can win to you, and you'll be as open you as I mean say, me a su traveling secretary pain, as you national council, myself, or me a Bible study and prayer group, Bible study and prayer group convention, Nina, but a Christo, some, a yanchi bun, some, yanchi by four, yes, to dim, yet two big, says, stay. Yen sorry, Obiaya, Obiaya prophet. Obia pete anointing oil. Mansaso, Fansaku, Tiso, Fansaku, Fansaya Dende, Ainty, Musha Yan Sari Musesia, Mammy Bissu, and Shabun Sam Nosu, Bun Sama Dan was a quasso demo, Bibia Mosia Mia, Mammy as a walk a mini mushi. A sorry, a ya ya bun sam, bun sam, be ye, be ye do. And I'm saying, we have more beyond what I said. Open your side, men say. But we need a balance. We need. When I'm in your dream, oh, see, Papa, we want to go find a bar. How? Hey, my mom and Sam are so open. Your son say, yeah. But as soon as you're in a software, that's it. Let's acknowledge these guests. We have Mr. Ishrifi Young, the Deputy Regional Director of the Electoral Commission with us here. We have Mr. Francis Tekpeti, the Assistant Headmaster of Academic for Uti Boateng Senior High School with us. We have Mr. Emmanuel Esiedu Asan from the Controller and Accountant General Department here. I know with your presence, I'll get my salary alert very soon. Thank you very much. Let us also acknowledge our media partners who are here with us. We have Adum TV and the other multimedia group here. We acknowledge you. We have Peace FM here. We have City TV and City News here. We have the Ghana News Agency here. We have UTV here. We have Daily Graphic here and then Graphic Times. We acknowledge you so much for coming. Thank you so much, uh, friends from the media. God bless you. Chairperson, as you said, and as has been repeated by our honorable speaker, we have been involved in these social activities right from the beginning. And in our anniversary year as a privatry, we want to leave a legacy of one of such for the privatry. So we are putting up a JHS for Kwabwanta. Kwabwanta is in the um, Kota District and Ayeswano Administrative District. They have only a primary school. After primary school, they walk several miles to attend GSS. And so the privately is leaving behind a legacy of a JHS for them to show as our anniversary project, our centenary project. This is a church that is thinking of the community. Of course, the Kufobia Preset Project is a medium to long-term project that is being worked on. But for this anniversary year, we want to end the anniversary with a JHS at Kwabwanta, where other churches will find difficult to go to. So having come here, we want you to be part of the blessing for the people of Kwabwanta, all of us gathered here, that you contribute to that project. I invite Reverend Foster Ampofu, the district minister 
for Adreso and also the chairman of the Kufudia Local Council of Churches to help us mobilize some resources for that project, Reverend Foster Pofu. And that is the picture of the GSS block on the screen. This will inspire you to give generously for that. Right. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, let's give a clap of friend unto the Lord. Lift up your hand and give praise to God. It is all about Jesus. Hallelujah. I believe Papa has said it all. We are going to give and give cheerfully to support a noble task. Uh, it's one of our social responsibilities, our social mandate to support such a worthy cause. So we are going to give. And I believe the Lord, the good Lord will replenish you. The good Lord will bless you. Shall we give a clap of honor to the Lord? We are all coming together. The first thing we are doing, we are all coming together to appreciate God. A Kriapim Presbytery is 100 years. Hip, 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 hip. Oh, I can't hear you. Hip, 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 hip. So we are coming to thank God. If it had not been the Lord, I don't believe that we will come to this far. So, Gospel Kora, help us as we are all coming together, appreciating the goodness of God, how far the Almighty God has brought us as a presbytery. It is the doing of the Lord. It's not by works. It's God alone. It is God who has done it. So, we are going to give appreciating God for what He's done for us. Ashes, kindly help us. Ashes, Momoye, by the Faso Abba. In your mood, too, Fabre Radia Juma. We are bringing hope to the people of Fabuanta. Ashes, help us. Ashes, help us. We are giving to support the project at Kwabuanta. They need our help. So let's support them and God will bless us. From the back, please give and give cheerfully. God is good. Hundred years. And we are all ready to receive hundred years blessing. Centenary blessing. Nine Fata. Nine. Oma Yemua Ejumei. You're going here 300,000 Ghana cities. To finish this task. 300 cities. 300,000, 3 billion old cities. Hello, Nine, the Asak, Akrabi Asak, the Asak. Yamia Yobi, ah, eh, ah, Nine, ah, Papo for Yapia, Osa Radia Yabiama, Yamishram, Equipping Presbytery, 100 years. Ebenezer God, we are grateful. Ah, ah, ah. Say, say, say. It's all about Jesus. God loves a cheerful giver. As you give, the good Lord will bless you. It's a social mandate to put up this structure at Kwabuanta. Yamema usika mo binko school. Mama Dana Ashiti. Yami Shira. Mama Dana Ashiti. Yami Shira. Say. 300,000 cities. 3 billion. All cities. It's my prayer. 
that one person, two person will come out. That I'll do this to the glory of God. In Shrampa, we fear that. God bless you all. Addressing the call. People of God, I am a sick. I am a sick. DHS 1, DHS 2, DHS 3. Offices. It's a big structure. God will bless you. 300,000 cities. 3 billion old tariffs. God bless you. Give the Lord a dance in Bahura. Can't follow the name of Sophomissier. Bishop, God is good. Hundred years, centenary blessing. Fathers and mothers, hundred years. God is good. God is good. If you are not Because of Jesus, oh, she three hundred thousand six. God bless you all. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power, and everywhere he went, he was doing good. The good back when he had person, and then was screening. About 300,000 
Ghana cities. 300,000. 3 billion. Uh, JHS 1, 2, and 3. One hymn says, if you cannot preach like Paul, if you cannot sing like angel, your money can do something. Oh, give a clap of friend unto the Lord. With 5,000 Ghana cities. That's what Quran. 5,000. First person to receive a centenary blessing. First person. 5,000. 5,000 cities. 5,000. 50 million. They are ready for us. They need hope. Let's give them hope. Our social responsibility, our social mandate. Let's give to support a worthy task, and the Lord will bless us. A noble task. 5,000, 50 million. 5,000, 5,000 Ghana cities. God will bless you. God will bless you. God will bless you. 5,000. Centenary blessing. 5,000 and above. 50 million. Come on and check it. Please, you can put that momo line on the screen. 5,000. One time. I'm ready to switch it out. One time. I'm trying. I'm trying to fair fair. Come on and check it. Come on and check it. Come on 50 million Zikadadan, 5,000 Ghana cities. A mood, Nasu, Yamiba Mount Double. The Lord will replenish it. 50 million. 5,000. One Epi and one Mai. 5,000 Ghana cities. Ma, Tawa Koma. And God will bless you. And check your budget. 55,000. 50 million. Sikada Dano. 3,000. 2,000. 4,000. But I'm going to 2,000. 3,000. 4,000. God will bless you. Oh, my. Centenary blessing. One year on my two thousand Ghana cities. Three thousand Ghana cities. Oh my check on your budget. One year on my centenary blessing. Two thousand. Three thousand. Four thousand. Five. One year beyond my end. One year beyond my end. Two thousand Ghana Father has given something. Let's give a clap of friend. Yes, I don't want to mention the amount. A pledge of 2,000 cities from God bless you, Papa KB. Oh, let's give it. Let's appreciate Papa KB. 2,000. 1,000 cities. 1,000 Ghana cities. Please take a step of God will bless you. It's a special program. 10 million, 1,000 Ghana cities. Babuanta. Get to support a noble task. 1,000 cities. Oh, Babuanta. Ghana, Yadasi. 1,000 cities. When you're running up, 100 years blessing. Thousand, thousand cities, thousand Ghana cities. A best city for fair fair. I will swap for my own saswa. 
I will fall so out there, my Sasso. You are ready. Thousand cities. You are me, Your life will never be the same. It is more blessing to give than to receive. You are me, Thousand cities. You are me, Shira, by a cassette. Five hundred. Five hundred. Come in your numbers. Five hundred cities. Five hundred Ghana cities. Get to support Kwakwanda's project. JHS block. Five million. Five hundred cities. The Bayin and Yamishira. Daddy, God bless you. Daddy, God bless you. Five hundred cities. Take a step of faith. Centenary blessing. It will surely locate you wherever you go. Daddy, that's five hundred cities. Five hundred. God, you bless you. Two hundred. 300, 400, 500, 900 cities. Daddy, God bless you. 500, 300, 200. Please come and God will bless you. 200 cities. Come in your numbers. I will say 100 years in Shiran, and you go, you go with you. Daddy, oh, my son, my papa, my parents. 200 cities. It should have been you watching. It should have been rough here. 100 years. Yami do better. Mama Yami Shira. Babuanta project. Mama Yadasi. 200 cities. 200 cities. What? 200. 200 cities. 200 Ghana cities. Daddy Adasi, God bless you. Daddy, God bless you. 200 cities. 200. 200 cities. Centenary blessing. 100 cities. 1 million. 100 cities. 100 Ghana cities. 100 cities. Brabe yi pi nenya misha hundred cities, brabe das hundred cities, hundred Ghana cities, hundred cities, hundred cities, brabe yi pi. Oma mu o shira si odia, oma mu o shira si odia, hundred cities, hundred, hundred cities. Why never be a hundred cities? Hundred Ghana cities. Hundred cities. Fifty cities. Fifty cities. Five zero. Fifty. Fifty. For a niche number for it. Then you may show a name. Give and it shall be given unto you a good measure. Shaking together. Pressing down. He will cause men to bless you. He will cause men. Cast your bread upon the waters. To wabo do go suneni. That you will serve a king. To wabo do. Hallelujah. Fifty cities. Fifty cities, brabe yipi. Three hundred thousand cities. Are you here? You are born up as some of cements, some of blocks, iron rocks. Ni na ya baje. Cement, blocks, iron. Ya baje. Fifty, fifty. Ale. Fifty cities. Fully five zero fifty cities twenty cities 
30 cities, 40 cities, 50, 20, 30, 50, 20, 30, 40. Yami be shiram. Ye burn up a summer and materials here, your betty. Blocks, iron rods, cement. We need 300,000 cities. Twenty cities, thirty cities, twenty, thirty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ten cities, five. Yeah. Come and show the Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Whatever. 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 God will bless you as you give. God bless you all as we fulfill one of our social responsibilities, our social mandates, social witness, not only prayers and preaching. But also to go out. God bless all of you. clap offering unto the Lord so after the service whatever you want to give to support this noble task the good Lord will bless you I also give 500 cities to support this noble task God bless you let us pray gracious Lord we give you all the glory and all the honor this is what we have brought before thee sanctify it for the furtherance of your work these and many other things we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord Amen. Thank you very much, Reverend Foster Ampofu. Let's give a big round of applause and appreciation. God bless you so much. I'm sure maybe when you saw the building, the picture of the building on the screen, you might say, hey, Kravanta. pavilion, chain, chain, be more. But that is part of removing social inequalities. Hallelujah. They also deserve an air conditioned classroom. Hallelujah. So we'll do it. Let us acknowledge Chief Superintendent Emmanuel Ban, District Commander of the Kufudia District of the uh, Kufudia Municipality, Ghana Police Service. He's accompanied by Inspector Nicholas Dehe of the Ghana Police Service. You are welcome, sirs. Let us also acknowledge Channel of Hope, Channel of Hope of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana. They are supporting us, streaming this program live on TV. Because they are preparing on the internet and Facebook and everywhere you'll find it. They are streaming live the program for us. God bless you so much. At this point, the greatest of respect, I invite our guest of honor, the Honorable Regional Minister, Honorable Seth Echampo, to give us some brief remarks for the day. Sir. Let me 
Papa Chairman, a year equipping presbytery, yeah, soft penny, so for Ishmael, Domte Asare, and a year papa, Okunini, Opuni, a Wabitu, a four, a far, a year, and there, and some four, a day two, a year, the Sia, Sam, and my yang, a drink, Raman, we are Ghana, Yin, and I, a dear, and one domain. Na a yama who was it? My papa no more war has so for be brave, and here we put the major be now. No more coaching. Timestre, me, I'm a papa so for a cool or day. I can say, Mummy, I will have me name say, May church for a penny. I'm in a war a year. Your man tell me a sum a war a bank a simo or a senior presbyter a year opening a don't call. On a bassin, you know, papa, bassin for a dose of power of my own. And tea, a yemi, a hoahua, sign yemi at Niji, the sign a footwa, yapa padia my ye, quaya, a drink jamam way, yea, ye sum a radi, a wo Christo, and I'm also, ye befa, na etumia ma, ye in the ye, ye in soup, a daddy, na me tea papa, and we be on better so no. Then I am a Nigge, any acquire, yea, ya fa a radi, say and cry near Jim Qua, say a bear a crystal for ye bemma one more, one ye sum ye mo, no a son for frumo, ye soon ye bind, ye benam a sem patro quanso, potocas and bony freno, evangelism, son of a pacayeno, or see spiritual witness. Jidie any one home from an among Ben ye be to me abwa na yamma ye su any ye by ni ye ni ye a down so ama a drink a me chile me dia yama me hukwa ya se or sumba mesu me kebi the sun se me yosu a fo a shetri mamura or ti ben yosu another dan kwa kufwado ewe ye manta mi muntino mis me kebi e was se me mpo a kwanya me faswa me kasa e was se echre wona wo ti me ne se Ampa me a bassin neighbor. Ananias, I'm a yano. Nami nim, my kind of bassin, the bassin is a copum set. Me quire empty or quo. Na mina mre. Now said, you cook with cocoa crew. And I'm cook with cocoa crew by quite a friend of Switzerland. And I'm cooking who say, Sa bassin, bassin, I'm a canoe. A basil, na basil, a crow din to suckle for you. And he, aha, and I ain't a crystal summon a buffoon a bayern. Missionaries are not to summon free basil. Mom came set it in room near for in Timin can ye. And he, Mukunam say, Ace, I ain't as a semi-sian ye. Now, so we are basil in the banana sana as I'm canoe. San number two, so in the San number cause our canoe. Na and ne do me de. Papa do man too, I have say. Papa do man too, but you are quite bold. Papa say say me also for a few months. Me too, me more home I can't tell. But you na kakra me can't talk the yeah papa okuni ni also for penny okuni be too yeah for one no. I am pa me just say I was say a Christo for yeah me and Ibrani a dear home dom amanyo juma no. So na na papa tree tree mu. Se kwain ben ebe faswa. A sorry ne soso. Ebe ma a sorry ma nimdiye. Na wenya akukudro. Uwe sini pi. Uwe sini te siji na yese. Wano soso. Wabe kwa na wade wangu. Ako ye e juma pa ye ye. Ube mwa ye dosu ni wun bibri ye. Nansu. E wase. Ye ma yendi eno e dansu. Enu ne yame mpaye bo. E yame mpaye bo efise. E. Ukoch remukura noa. Tremaya bakosem yetias yes eh. Asobrachi wo we and ya bon tin kwane wo ibu of ye an ame boa. Ne mum ji se de waman hu kwain. Ne rade hum humu no ebrano. Na waman hu kwa na hum ne ti na hum hum na chene se fa bungumi si ha fani fain si ha na uchimi akowenim. Inti media me fa papa futoni ye papa. 
na minim se e kwan bia ye nso so se aban papa ye be boa won kyerekyere mu ne yetumi aba e ye adwabo kese a e ye kyerekyere adwabo kese se ase e wasafo fie na ye ye betie nyina no ye be dane asempa kafo e wo asempa trewa ye be fato ye ho so e hia se wo ye oman ba se se gana ye po ye mpo se na papa kan no e bibire mo ha nyina ma dodo no agi adwenkyere ma mu atum ye fere no democracy no na democracy no na papa kan ye no e ye mra e ne de yo na papa de ya na eku me ne se de broni ka no objective thinking e kwan a se akonyu esi etu o me hunu se ye kokko e bata aponan no it is next and leaning to the jam the door post am i courageous truthful to say say akonyu e me ba na tena so an e bata ne so wo e ye ye carpet fefe fe hu ko si e chire ho no e chire e dan no e bata ban no ho no sa no kredie no sa no kredie ne na me hu no se sey na sempote ne tie sey na de ne tie no ye mu dodo sey ne nya sa akokuduro no ye timi suru asafo awrade ne ka se etisa ana sey ne tie e ho e na empen pii no e ya na ye ho chire ye e bia me ma meti so yi e bia obi a oso mo ma se me meti so pa nto ho se a minister ne ti so ahia ne tri mbe de ahia ne man kama ne tri man ya ne da ahia na anko ye ye eno nkyere se wodi akokuduro ene nokuredie eka ase trying to be assertive and being objective does not necessarily give you the right to be disrespectful yen basri ntiti ye basri made ye ye de ade buo e na atete yen so ko a ye yen ye wo ye ha ekwa pem presbytery de missi yew na wo de tete wo yen ana anya za na tenen ndi wo reken se missi pa e yi de me pa ucho se de bia me do be bia na me kasa ye se minister we de wo se me pa ucho nya se mpa ucho mpa ucho ye me ntiti ye basri ntiti ye me ma me wo me no e basri ni into a woman class and I'm a man, woman class into me. And he sang yet to tell me. Now, dear men, need Jenny say, Papa can't send me say, Yen yer ye home. Now, ye ma a quokua, a war yes, sumi mono. And also so, do do no wabontina any name yes, mono, won't you more, dear? Messress, ya so any yen, she say, any yen is ready, no ma, ya suffo ye, a few mo ye, she shepherd on ye, quay any mono, a bit demutin to mine. E hiame e san se eno so boa e wa sem patrew a chire chire papa chire chire ye no eno so boa e wa adwenkyira ma mu no mu na de me ka no bro ni kasa mu se emra mi to mi ejina me nan so edi no kure na ma ma ehu anwura me mu na ma tumi ajina se o me pani wa ha de se me ka se me se ne ye ti se ne se pani se we dem pani na na wani mu na wani mu ye se ye mu be Yes, yes, I saw me at the two baby and the Puma Sibre, O C. Sino, yes, I never can. Namra, me to me, Egna, I could do number two, Sana, Mono, and no chess, eh? I was seven ma, many etra, many tongue, and now, man, no so, a honey, yammy. Do you know so? Nemma, o boo, and tenomo, Nessa, o two anamon, pa, one namono, a dane, susudia, and my wono, a woman, who shabby. And no, I'm a person in a Christopher. I had dumb among your Jumano. Who peripere ye, and no credi, and it's an overcut as some trene afa, said also a can of some trene and a morsel. And no name me suro kesia me bon pie, the beatras of a rather say, and no the bitch me a boa, a ma, ya drink them a boy, a tin team, a foot to be brave in a papa den a ditray, the US, na your friend, United Nations, a dear tomb. A ekobe enfie nsu ni ayegitu mu aye fre no the sustainable development goals kwa ye wiase nyina ye betumi afa so na o man bia sua kakra ni etumi e de atenetene atoatoa ya bra bo no sa esu no a e kyerese e no sesebi me me yakan ni 
nebi eminia a oye chiriponi ono susu ya kani na onso ne ne ene ne chakrema osia osino kwa hodo waso anase minia sheni ya ufri ebia ayube anase minia kroboni a opoto anami minia kreni ya opoto no mi bu mi hon ene mi me se a me se no esine ono ne se ebi ono de wakana kwe kwa ufi ya majibu wase uya mebu nji umkreni umuadi ya enye sa ono so nidi ya nono enu ni nina ame ya chile chile se ajwe nchile mwemu ono sana wasi ya fwe kuwa sana wasi ya fwa gana ha mantamua nukware nyame wachiche ye mwene eni bebre aye dan sun sun pa eni epuye mantem ye na ye dan sun pa inti se oba yo swafu epuye mantem wa wasodi ya sun se nyame nkan wa unti minyo esan se oba mfinfini ha ye jire jwa bin asase so jwa bin fufru mu u chi wuna koko kwa kire wunua mwa nwe duwe fulpeni ya mwete ya buwa kwa fwa asase so Oko kakra kuwe ni mwa kwa atu ye mwa Oko dru kutukume mu Ninyi na ya kanchi mu Oko kakra nwa kudru busome Oba wa nifansu wa koso wa kakra wa kudru kwa u Oba wechia Abba Ose ya diyo yo Ekwe api mfemu Eno soso dene hu Usane ya na wako sumanya Na wako nene ho Nene fumi yinu kwa ne woho Ansa na wako Fraoni nchi mu wa Oba kwa kwa kutu Ako mfuo, e wosu so hempo, odene hon, e numfuo, odene hon, ansana boso. Wenye na chile pungo busu nya fuo. E busu nya fuo mwiti yedi ya meka no. Wonsa yedi dansu bibri. Nansu nyame, aye ye nina mantambako. A, yeti mi tina mani ye ye, anaye ntina mani ye ye. Ya sofu die, mi mi ye basi di nibayi. Mwenu a sofu wa, eye kobo fuo. Mwenu a sofu wa ye aibi fuo. Mwenu a sofu wa ye nkra fuo. En mwenu a sofu wa kame di eme si ye. Se basri ya maye ntiti ye Ami yetu miya tina se busu ya diya Eni ya yama nye juma wa si yetu mi tina mani ye ye Ana ame boa E si yetu mi tina mani ye ye Na me ni u sem A me di ya hame Eni sene ya ye yono ono Sena papa kana ono Bo unu ubi ya kana Eni ye Wedu mdo omu abaye mwa Ubi ya mwo mwechi Nyesi ubi ya mwo mwechi Yesi Mye mfanto so Ni mwo mwenye debe ye Yesi debe ye Midi ya minyami ya mesumu nono chile mese Uka mwase mboni ya Wanunu Seno kachile yushua Ewa yushua se mnumu Osi nyaku kudro Na ukui mika onu Seno kachile mwose Menu nebeko Inti saa jidi ya nene wumitrimi Inti ube huu kwa supami ya enhame Mame kanyi nina abako sembia Papa Ebo oswa Mijidi se Ifaye nina ayasu hum Midi MP Mprensa Chere se mfiye dumi yinu, ewa mpraeso. Na mbedi empi nu, adia mbedi si meniso. Esa nse sabra umu wa minu mjia mina nye misuwa na nyame mame so. Na mi hunse, suku ntitiye kakra ya di mame inti yinu. Na ama metumi ni mpeni esi esi jina. Akwe sikain, ama nyame ya ya memwa ya madom, ama medi nkunimu. Timi fatu umu hunse se, mebuwa suku ufe. Papa, asama ya meke, ya miko kwa umu wa se mwa midi nkwa mwa wa. Koko mene diya medibe tutu ya sanse Diya mike ni Kwe chiri Niti mbesu ubiye suya Mijire mehu Se jetra ya dema Mrasibi jwe ni se omfa Mwa mpuntu njuma no Miche emu diye mu Ohanche mwe duye siya Se medibe buwa mwafra Mwama kusuku Niti na me ma scholarship Na rohu se me wumu nese Ebri biya meko akensi biya Ya mwafona mituya wa unsuku ufisi no Wona wachira wa hape nese Minkan hu yampam minfri ho Zuma hu nse ni wiyase tiye Inti mi anya mi mwangwa Se mampeni na nado danko ya kufu wado Nyame so ni daye Na oshe ni ni mwonyam Na ode ni daye so Eni ni tiri mpwa ba se Opese eye entu asu suku wa Eti ti ya ufo Mi na mi mame ton tuma Inti mi ni mse na ufo E brefe wa mwe suku Ubi di ni ntuma babi siya wawa Abe bobo siya Abe hunu bi pen Mene kete chie, ubu wa hanane juma sayi, esi ane suku fi isi nti, nane ba, obon humo ni odi mwoma no, na uwe ntumia nku suku. Se, abofrena nye suku nti te ya, ajuntila ye chile, ude nibe tine mwa, ube tiye ne kwa, uwa woka sa sobe kane kwa, achreno. Nti, e, nyase, sa, jetile ne, wase ya shushesena papakana ese, 
enye se mampeni na na ndodan kwa kufu wado bresu ya waye yinu ni mpaya bwane se ne chino o maeno ebe fakwa na fufro se se obi jaye saa adiyono ene se ebe bwa ama ye nina ye niya ye diye beng ati ewa amanyo jumane hon isa anse uti akenkai na siya ene uhunu senia wachire na fa ene uhunu bwanea chirenu edi nwa uhunu akenkai ya ya dibe tuwe nindi ya saa ya akenkai aname bwa Inti mwa hunu mfasudia uwa saa Nsusuye Ene saa nshishaye na nanado de baye Esu mfasudia ene se O hawa Nanado abaye mfemu Emo franwa Yeye eduwa mshasi ene Mwa mwifye ene Ye mfidi ya abaye ya ye jina soka se Mwa mwuse mkwa lana kotro ene sofye nwa Edu bebina ya deye mwa wa omono No mwa ye video No mwudi atuja no mwudi mampeni ya te Mwaka ye Ya nati ye ma E refri ni ye mkaya kaya Enu nu me anya me wangwa isanza na yadi biye dimu wanuko kuwe mupe na me ka edi edi adansi ya mubiye siyansi adi papa biya na bajuma bata hu inti ewose yema yempa ebo eko papa ne hu ni yetu me tse bajuma ni free hu na eye osumpa na ye adi pa me ka di esu suse me de safu radi asese na na duabani ajire na hu edi sa suku inshiye no Ape she gana. Yeng afi afi. Jetile hun shishe mwa ye freno budget no. Papa. Meti mi akansi mi bose. Nansi ya nae mwose. Eneno. The free senior high school. Has been mainstreamed. Into the Ghanaian budget structure. It is not going to go anywhere again. Abay abone hun mwode. Se. Ye shishe gana sika. Kwa imbiya ube faswa. Ube masa. Mkwa la sheno. Watu si husika, ansa na watu watu husika kwenye na ano, abanya manabe dani embrami ya jato. We, eje me, ahuwa huwa sem, eje me nije sem, ene sen, ebe buama, o mamba, dodo ono eni ati, ama ye nina ye huye hiya, e wase, ye ye diye beye, ye buwa ni efe, e titi ye mawo suku. E nyasa ma baye ne diya ba, inti mi jina haan ma ye hu, e sempake ni, ne mom, e ye, susu diya, Papa kasa ya mwe nye kwa ame ya champu mwe tike siya sema na meka yu. Ne mwe mpapa susu. Nishi she ye mwono. E ye adepa. Ebe buwa apeja ye mayi. Ne dachi. Esa nse ye si inchiri ma. Ena dachi wawo. Mwenye saa ne kano. Inti midi ye miye kristu ni beye mwe ura heidi. Kakre nye amedi ya cheme no. Mi mano e mpaye hon. Na di mpese me ken chato. Ne ye mi dese papaye kano. Na obo katlik. Bishop conference. Eni uruma. Sorry. Entity answer. So you say you can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. The point is sorry. Now you can't apostles creed. So you can't apostles creed. But you say you can't apostles creed. But you want to say. But you want to say. You say you can't. But you know what? The Holy Catholic Church. Me boy. Aha. I'm the son of a pagan or can't. You know me? Yeah. Ne biye meni. I na mukopi Israel. Na mukopi Israel no. Nuko bo me ni akon huma. Mi pebre mi di na kakra woho. Mi chinye pa. Na diye ba kwe de di ma mi huno ene se. Uro ma asore no. Bebi ya uja ashenso. They leave their footprints wherever they go. Niko uro ma asore no. 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 Ami ye se mi chin chin. Se uko Israel. Miti mi akase. Se nye uruma asore ya. Nka ke ya yira. Nki ye ni ho. Papa mwa. Nka ye ni ho. Womu na bebi ya. E ye tetifo nwa ye hu wongu abako sem. E wo chile kunkuru mwono. Bebi ya obi kubia. Ube nya da jia chile chile ho. Ninyi na uruma asafu ya. Nwa chichire. Nenu na basi lefo. Medi ye mfatu mwa. Abe wye ma se mna medi ma suse mtin tin abe wye ene se. De me hune se basre fwo. Oba gana ha. E ne. Papa nyamin shira se me ba a public lecture ebe. Ne mi ni mi se ye wo over two thousand six schools. Ne mi ni mi se ya che chiri su kou. E te mkwa la. Bibri se. Mi fwen kounte bo a papa bu chile mi ya. Ama hune se 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 mkwa sore sa fore yenu. Mi yere mwo bo na dodo. Ni eti me si school da yeno dodo di abwa. E san se school ni biye ni peni. E no ne ti ni peni. E me ni pe hunu. Mekasa bebreba mekenye na asenkwe sebe sebe. 
manko suku anka bi nya sa kwan na mejina ha se e meka ana me boa menko ana meti so ana menko ana me ye oman ba e beti bi dia be jina ha se nanso mpani hwe mu no na suku ntitie no mama suku ntitie na wura me ma ngura suku ni mu keke ni ma ntitie ni wura mi mu asem na meko ya se ye nyina kasa ye kan obe firi ha ko no na me so me die kakra ma be kan ewu mu na oso atimi di bie drabonten na boa ama oman yo no a ye chechire no etumi akonkan eno ne me mpai bo enti bi ye mesre ne se ye nso presby ye yiri ye ho na ye de de a chechire suku bebere suku nchechire no e be boa ama nsemfo na ye de tu tie se asore no se obeye agent obe jina ho no ya hyenso ama ye adwenkira mamuoyi ene kwa ye be fa so a ye be tutu ye nsikasem ya tutu oman ahyehye oman ne ma ayeye economic transformation ene ya nkasa ye ho hyehye se me 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 nkwadi akatu anchen me nua me ne ne som ana se me nsisi no nchen obi a ye fra no social equity ne ye che bia ye be che na ye ye no bia straka ne de no ehu nhira ene ho nye e be ye ye ebe buru ye so kakra ebe ma ntu ye nsu ntu dia de na mum e yo hawa ebe ben ye no kwan ben ebe fa so ebe timi akura mpeni atu ne din poto kasa mu fefefe dia ma ya be chire chire me de mi jiri se le fapem e na papa kan ye no adesua education how we be able to get ourselves educated build capacity and ensure that the basic principles of life that we are taught through sermons in our church services at the same time ensuring that we come for such public forums and learn from basic common knowledge that is expressed and taught and imbibed in them when we do so i have every belief and firm hope that as christians we will lead the pathway in this democracy and our beautiful republic will be the beneficiary nyamin shiraye no nti enkwanam si aye city amano ya beti asem patron wa nya men kan ehun nyina amen thank you very much honorable regional minister sabri me a vote of thanks. Miss Evangelim Amegashi, lay rep to GAC to render the vote of thanks, please. Patra Sumjuen Kamuyina, I'm honored to render the vote of thanks for this august occasion. Our foremost gratitude goes to the Lord Almighty for giving us the grace and mercy to witness this 100 years anniversary of the Aquapim Presbytery. I also render our sincere thanks and gratitude to the, our guest of honor, that is the Honorable Seth Achampon. He came from another function and he managed to be here. From all his numerous assignments, he was able to be here and stay to give his uh, comments to the end. We are so grateful to him and to all the people who came with him. Then, the reason of our gathering today, Reverend Dr. Opuni Frimpong, he has given us food for thought for us to go and process to see how we can move forward. We are so grateful. There are so many things he has enlightened us on and we are grateful to him. We also thank the chairperson and the, of the Equiapim Presbytery, Reverend I.D. Asare, for leading the campaign for this 100 years. We are so grateful to him. And it has also exposed us to so many things in the presbytery. The next appreciation goes to all our invited guests, all the congregations, the agents, the cut, their spouses, all the government agencies, all the non-governmental agencies who were invited and gratefully honored our invitation. We are so grateful to them. Also, we are grateful to the Nananum, 
the there's there's no female here, but all the chiefs who honored our invitation to be here, we are grateful. It gave us a bit of culture in our deliberation. We also acknowledge the clerk of the presbytery, the central centenary planning committee, and the subcommittees, the staff of the presbytery, and the caterers for burning the lamb oil to see the success of this function. And last but not the least, we are grateful to Reverend Dr. Anfo Akono and the entire Ascension congregation and the, and the choir for making this place available to us and also making sure that everything went on. Amen. Very much, Mama Lee Reb. Please announcements for us. We are done. We we'll request that all our invited guests will go to the church hall. The church hall is right behind where we are. You move to the back of this building. You find the church hall there for leadership to give you some water to take as you go along. You have been so gracious in attending to this program. So we also want you to take some water from us before you go. Then all other participants, you kindly remain seated in this auditorium and you'll be attended to before you leave. It, district ministers and all members of the church that private session resumes on Friday April, that is exactly a week today at a group. So we should end up on time with our delegates. The, please, ushers, can you please and let us finish, please. Let's take the announcement. Please, on that day, the missionary Relay flame that is currently going on will arrive at a coupon. Initially scheduled to arrive on 28th, but as you know, we have shifted the date for private session. So on 29th, a big district by 8:45 a.m., you must arrive in a coupon with a large number of your district members, accompanied by brass band music and all the other things you can do. We encourage a cross section of members of, or as many members of a coupon as possible to join you. So you report at the preparatory office, we we'll receive the flame, and the preparatory chairperson will light the perpetual flame in front of the office. And after that, we proceed to the Christ Church to session. Niami Kani said, Oje Duma, Yede Chin, Prebitri, Ninina, Diadia Dance, Asempa, no one sema dance no. A bedu a croupon twenty ninth, a and an hour tree. A befi a brew, a bedru, and tea year and year by private session in a. And as a football be our private team, so bit me a bachelor senior, a cool we are. Momra by eight forty five, na a brew for a dear bedu private office. Na ye beji, na so for penny, as so, we jan or private office any more. Na fee free who I call Christ Church, as sorry them. To ya a fee. Na ye dear call, if we ye ni quesida. On second May. On second May, we have blood donation. Yina ye kochimuja abwa ayarisa. Regional hospital ha Suhum Government Hospital. In Sawan Government Hospital and Tetekwashi Memorial Hospital. So we are entreating the district ministers within these zones to mobilize as many members as possible. From the estimation, we can mobilize not less than 500 members from these areas. So, Kufudria Zone, Suhum Zone, and Samam Zone, and then the Ridge. Mobilize your members to the designated hospitals. Nayan Kochi Muja, Mwa Ayarisa, and Nusuka, Sushia Responsibility, so that in our centenary year, we'll be donating blood to help save lives. So, please, let's mobilize our members in support of that program. 
you see on the program that on the 28th of May, we have Kora Day. And the place, that venue has been changed. It's a program for our schools. So we are going to educational institution. We are going to PCE, a coupon. So please, Ascension, kindly um, halt any preparations you may have been making for that program. Thank you. We know if you were to come, you would have hosted us. But we are going to PC a coupon to give a fair share of the Finally, we want to remind district ministers to kindly notify all retiring agents in your jurisdictions, as well as newly commissioned and newly ordained, to come to a coupon on 29th to be presented at the brevetry session. Just a minute, please. My chairman wants to tell me something. Nonso, yes, Ramusha Semwabwa, Nema, Yeduka Koche, Ayaresa, Ananga, Mabosono, Nafi Clinic, any Obregima Clinic, Sisi Kumi Hospital. On the 14th of June, we'll be doing donation at these hospitals. So we want all the districts. Musha Semwabwa, Nyamano, Na Yemfan Kochesa, Ayaresa, Bia, NCN. We want to really make an impact in our centenary year. Thank you so much. And God bless you for coming. We are to be at the Preparatory Him 282. Now, we are to be able to get ID SRA. We are going to be able to get the ID SRA. We are going to be able to Him 282. We are going to be able to get the Sion, I will inform you Nyang. First two stanzas. Chawane 
Yeah, cause so on is a cause one ma a crap in presbytery and show you a couple when you yam da. Many if you are dumo and quad dumo, then penny any one dance here say, I'm pa, we're ready on the yang and the wall. When you have no coffee, you're pie bonnie say, and a day, yeah, I bet you, yeah, I be sure, yeah, yeah, call you mubiara, my intimate fun too, and I'm on pa, na and show you a couple and you yam. Yeah, Judy. Yen him so bit to me, I am passing Sunday, Susu. If you see a bisa, I will ready yes to Christo Dio. Amen. Momma and Yensha. Bonco, O Yanko Ponga, who are day and any two mimo. As soon be Yanko Pon, one tell Moho cra. On shall Moho Homo cra. Nimunipe, we are soon move at home, Master B. Yea, a ready yes to Christo Bem. On no coffer, no, our friend, no, or no, no, Bemma, a simu ye. Mofa, no, soon be in co, more a ready shramo. Amen. So we'll be taking photographs at the photo stand. Our guest speaker, our honorable regional minister, the president chairperson, and other members of the leadership, together with our guests. Please, our distinguished guests, the pack for you to, be, to have served at the hall is now here right at this entrance. So as you go, you'll be attended to. But please, when you take it, kindly join us at the photo stand and let's take a group picture before you leave us. We need it for our records and our albums. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. And we'll meet at the other events. Thank you so much. Thank you.